Well, my name is Frank Staples. And I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I worked at Carrier for 13 years. I had 10 printers and five machines that I was responsible for every night. The reason our careers ended at Carrier was basically corporate greed. Yeah, the, the timing and everything, they came out February 10th, uh, 2016, told us that our jobs were moving to Mexico. Um, the union come in and started negotiating some things for us. Uh, start talking to them, try to at least save some of the jobs, um, if not all of them. Um, and so then it was approximately uh, almost a year and a half after they made the first announcement, initial announcement of closing the plant that they did their first round of layoffs. And then uh, here at the first of the year of 2018 is when they did their final cut. And so I think there's a total of about 700, about close to 800 people that's still working there, but we lost like 500 and some odd jobs to outsourcing. So, well, it was devastating. Um, just, I mean, it, 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 it caused me to kind of lose my head a little bit about everything, because here it is, you're, you're told growing up that if you go to work every day and you do your job, that your job's always going to be there. And here we are, everybody's showing up to work, and, and we do our job every day. We took them from the lowest standards in manufacturing to the highest standards in manufacturing within six years. But yet, we didn't do our job, so that's why they were, we, they wanted money. They wanted more money. Well, they, they had come out um, on February 10th and said something about closing the plants, did the announcement to day shift and night shift. And I think it was that following Sunday, we had a thing over to Union Hall and Joe Donnelly was there. From the very beginning, Joe has been a fighter for working classes and working families and middle class. And Joe has been on our side the whole time. I support Donnelly because he's for the working class. He's for the middle class. He's for the people that want to put food on a table and live that American dream.